Hi everybody, I'm Jen. And I'm Hayes, and welcome to the Cheap Tweet Happy Hour. Happy Friday, everybody. Yep. So, what do we have to talk about this week? Well, um, as you loyal viewers probably noticed, we didn't have an episode last week because I was in what turned out to be very sunny and pleasant San Francisco. I don't believe. Sunny San Francisco? It was, it was quite nice. So, um, that's where I spent the past several days, uh, actually at Twitter's developer conference, so that was pretty cool. Um, and that actually leads in fairly well to our first deal, which is uh, I carried around this Timbuktu bag with me the whole time in San Francisco. And Timbuktu is doing a really cool promotion right now where you can take your, send in your old bag to them and they will donate that bag to healthcare workers in Zambia. Well, that's nice. um, and in return, they give you a 20% discount on a brand new bag. So, you know, take your, take your old bag if you want to kind of switch out and get something new and send it over to them and get a 20% discount and do some good. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. So that's, two bags are really nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, anyway, what else do we have? Well, it's starting to warm up. Yeah. And we talk about every week. We're very excited about warm weather, but every week it gets a little bit warmer. And it's definitely spring now in most places. And so, with springtime comes something, one of my favorite things, smoothies yes. and ice cream. Yep. Gets yeah. warmer outside, you want to eat things that are colder. You need these in Austin. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Otherwise you melt. That's true. Scientific fact. It is. But, um, so we have a coupon uh, for buy one get one free smoothies at Jamba Juice. Okay. So if you like smoothies, bring a friend, get two for the price of one. That ex um, expires on April 25th, so in a few days, but use it through this weekend. Speaking of that, buy one get one. Mm -hmm. Dairy Queen, who has such good ice cream, I really love their soft serve. Um, Buy one Blizzard at regular price, get the second one for 25 cents. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so that also runs through the 25th. All right. So I'm not going to lie, we actually did that just last night. Yeah, actually, we got our Blizzards before we got dinner. So. Yeah. So anyway, um, <laughs> speaking of things that are 25 cents. Oh, uh, yes. What and, a good segue. Yeah, and happening in the summer. Um, I believe you wanted to talk a little bit about garage sales. Yes, or yard sales. Okay, so um, I don't know what you guys call it, garage sale, yard sale, rummage sale, jumble sale, uh, apparently. I, I, don't, I don't know. Anyway, um, according to Google, more people use garage sale. So I guess that makes sense. We're going, we're going with that. So, there's a good time of year for garage sales. Yep, a lot of them happen. Yep, a lot of them. As the weather gets warmer, people are spring cleaning their homes, getting rid of a lot of their things. And so as somebody looking for deals, it's a great place to find pretty good stuff for not very much money at all. Yeah. Lots absolutely. of things for 25 cents. Yeah. Um, in particular, lots of clothing, especially for kids' clothes or babies' clothes, because mm -hmm. kids and babies grow out of that stuff so fast. It's a good idea, you know, go looking for some of these for your own kids. Right. Um, what else? Um, let's see. I don't know. Old lamps. Yeah. You need some new lamps. New Ashtrays. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, other stuff from the 70s. Um, I don't know. Jackson Pollock paintings. True. You could be a millionaire. Yeah. Find one of those. Uh, original copy of the Declaration of Independence, uh -huh. something like that. Those are that. all over the place? Yeah, I know. They're just, you know, you go to a yard sale, you're pretty much guaranteed to pick up a priceless antique. Uh-huh, absolutely. So, give that a shot. Yeah. In fact, gosh, like seven years ago, something, mm -hmm. we got dining room chairs at a yard sale. They cost $5. Just for the record, they are not priceless antiques. They might I don't be. Think. Uh, there, could, there could be like the Constitution stapled up under one or never something. Even never looked. So. We still use them, and it costs five dollars. So it was a, definitely a good deal. So um, you should check them out. So you should check saying. them out. So yard sale, yard sales are a great way to save money. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think you had a couple of tips on finding some good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So to find the yard sales in your community um, on Thursday or Friday, the end of the week, look at Craigslist. A lot of people advertise their yard sales on Craigslist, mm -hmm. or drive around the neighborhood looking for signs. Do a little research to see where you're going to go. Um, most yard sales, garage sales, happen on the weekends, usually Saturday mornings, pretty early. But in a lot of communities, I know that people are doing them on Thursdays and Fridays as well. So actually, think outside the box a little bit and check around um, towards the end of the week and see what's yeah, happening. Get out of your garage sale box <laughs> that you're, you're in. I know you have expectations. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Get there early, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, the good stuff goes fast. It's true. Those Jackson Pollocks don't last. No, they don't. Um, you know, those kinds of things. Don't be afraid to negotiate a little bit. Yeah. If something, part says, of the fun. something says 25 cents, offer them 23. See how they're going to go. Get it down to 12 and a half. Yeah. Buy one, get one free. Yeah. Anyway, um, but check them out. It, it's a great place, especially this time of year, to find lots of cool stuff. Yeah. So, 
Anyway, that's it on yard sales. So yes, yeah, speaking of purchasing things for 25 cents at a yard sale, Mother's Day is coming up. <laughs> that's good, nice. Yes. So, uh, you know, if you want to find that perfect gift for your mom, mm -hmm. um, you could go to a fancy, expensive store and buy something, but nothing says I love you like a 25 cent Jackson Pollock. True. Or an old lamp. From a garage lamp. sale. Or an old lamp. Yes. An ashtray, for example, for your mom who probably doesn't smoke. Um, anyway, so yes, Mother's Day is coming up, so you could do that, or you could come to Cheap Tweet. Right, where we have thousands and thousands of discounts on Mother Day de Mother's Day deals. deals. Gifts yeah. for mom. Thank yes. you. It's hard to say. Um, so Mother's Day is on May 7th. That's two weeks. Mm -hmm. So you still have some time. Yeah. You don't want to forget your mom. So make sure you take care of your mom and get her something nicer than something you would get at your eyes show. Yes. That so. would be nice. Anyway, yeah. be nice to your mom. Mm -hmm. We're nice to our moms. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's all for this week. So thanks for watching and be sure to follow us on Twitter at CheapTweet and uh, come to CheapTweet.com and specifically check out our Mother's Day category because we have a lot of cool stuff and you got two more weeks, so get that shopping done. Yep. All right. Well, everybody have a great weekend and we'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye.